Shot 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 throw that sucker into park. What I want to do is on draw, I want to inhale. On presentation, I want to hold. Execution of those rounds, I want to hold. And on exit of the vehicle, I want to exhale. That's going to help you guys. And I, I've been through some uh, VCQB classes in my past that they don't give you any kind of direction on that. So what do you think the first thing I did as soon as I started? So yeah. As soon as I started shooting, I was like, oh, oh fuck. I'll never forget the glass lung that I had for about a week. So do not do that. Again, draw, inhale, present, hold, engage, hold. On the exit of the vehicle, I want you to exhale to the rear of the, the vehicle while you're exiting. It's very, very important. All right, so like I said, porting is a last resort, but we're going to train it. We're gonna study how to effectively port out of our laminate glass in our windshields based off the rake of our windshield here. Everyone come where you can see. So let's say the rake of our windshield is that line. I'm inside the car, shooting out. Where do you think my round is gonna go? Down up. It's gonna go up, based off of the rake of the windshield. Now the opposite, I'm the banger standing at the front of the car, tops inside of the car, the rake of the windshield's here, I shoot in, where's the round going? Down. 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 It's very important to understand that because if you don't understand that, you're about to find out why or what that round's actually gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys how I build a home base for that weapon system so that when I start shooting and the glass particles start flying everywhere, my sight picture goes to complete shit, I have a home base of reference to keep that port, that those rounds exiting the same hole consistently every single time, giving it the least amount of deflection out from inside out of the car. All right, the first one, I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm doing it. I'm gonna fire one round, that's it. I'm gonna fire that one round at that pasty. You guys are gonna see the deviation of nine millimeter, 124 grain uh, FMJ. All right, now I have seen what I was talking about, that 357 SIG in the class. What I'm gonna have is about eight to 12 inches of deviation with my nine millimeter at seven yards. And we're about seven yards off this target. That is not a mathematical formula that I bet my life on and the accountability that I have to now step in front of a jury on. I'm going to effectively port this windshield. The 357 SIG only had four inches of deviation, which was awesome. And that's obviously not me shooting the, the same gun. The guy could have been taller, decked the gun differently. There's a ton of variables that we're not going to try and figure out a formula for. We're just gonna build off a, a good SOP of porting this laminate glass. So one round from that point of aim, and then we'll track the deflection. If you guys can, get where you can see, because I'm gonna go over exactly how I'm giving this gun a home base uh, as I shoot it off the steering wheel. And then I'll also show on the passenger side so that when you guys are in here and you're working two guys, one driver side and one passenger side, you know exactly how to give that gun a home base. All right. So, uh, seatbelt aside, just focus and isolating here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thrust my hips up, drive my hand down, defeat any ALS lever that I have or retention device. Now, when I come up, what I wanna do is I want to pitch my posture up, not slam my back against the back here. Watch when I slam my back against the back, look at the muzzle. In, rep in reference or relation to that uh, windshield. How far is it? It's pretty far back. Now if I engage my posture, what's better than one point of contact? Two. I'm going to engage my posture and now drive with downward pressure 
on a home base, all right? Now I've got two points of contact. What do I have? Light, trigger guard, and my knuckle. That's my soft dexterity point. Drive that, uh, drive that pressure down, giving a home base, and I'm gonna fire one round. One round with that point of aim. Eyes and ears, one round. Remember, inhale and draw, hold on engagement, and exhale on the exit. Pop door, pin door, check rear, and then trace the steering wheel, trace the dash in between the legs. I get out without flagging myself or others, all right? Notice how big the hole is that one round just made. Now I can easily send a group because my muzzle is so close to that windshield. I have a centralized point of home for consistency of shot pattern. All right, thrust hips up, inhale, hold on presentation, hold on engagement, and engage with five rounds. Downward, downward, pressure, and engage with five rounds. And door, check rear, face between legs, exit the vehicle. Remember that if you're choosing the steering wheel, that downward pressure can be adjusted left and to the right. Mm -hmm. So don't overdrive that gun. What I'm doing is not just downward, it's forward and down. All right, forward and downward pressure is going to keep that gun nice and steady instead of bouncing up and down. Cause you can have really, really good grip, right? You can have really, really good grip, but it's about the consistency of exit of that round from the laminate, uh, lamination of the windshield that's going to dictate the amount of deviation off that flight path that I want, all right? Now let's go over to the passenger side. How am I building a good sturdy home base position on that passenger side? All right. So, new, so when I draw, I present my guns up here. When my gun is up here and I port this windshield, I'm going to run forward pressure on that magwell and forward pressure on the magwell, downward pressure on my, my hands. From here, I'm going to be engaging one, two, three, four, five. When I deck the gun, I need to negotiate the seatbelt. Seatbelt comes off. I can then bring my gun back punch it through to the sky, and then I can get out of the vehicle. My muzzle's up now, right? What can I do right right now? Bring it back down. Bring it back down in between the legs as I swim out, right? Swimming out or through that seatbelt. There's another way to do it. It's very, very similar to what I just did. That's if I go to the muzzle up, right? Then I have to remember to bring it back down, or I can bring it to that temple index blocking my entire uh, peripheral vision moving back to the direction I intend to go. When I drive up, <sighs> position one, two, three, four, five, good effective port. I'm going to come here. Now I can swim through, right? As I swim through, I'm just going to exit, trace the dash and exit to the rear of the car. All right, that's mo my most uh, or preferred method. How many of you ride with your seat? I know my wife's like 4'11". She rides with the fucking seatbelt. I yell at her all the time. But she rides with her seatbelt like this. Son of a bitch. Seatbelt's not working. Well, she rides with a seatbelt like this. She's 4'11". She doesn't like the thing wrapping around her neck because she's a child. So I drive up. She's, she, she's not running this because she took a Will Petty class and she noticed she knows that when she doffs the seatbelt, it literally clears everything as she exits the car. She just runs it that way. Well, when you think about it, you're like, oh shit, well, I didn't have to negotiate out of anything by running it like that. My LAPD guys, if you're running doubles and you guys aren't going but maybe five, 10 miles an hour um, throughout those neighborhoods and you need to exit that vehicle, that is a method that is probably pre be preferred to exit the vehicle as a right-handed shooter. <clears throat> if you don't wanna wear the seatbelt as it was designed. There we go. Now I come up under here, come up, engage. Now give it a home. Now I can swing it across swim through and as I exit I don't have to negotiate around any seatbelt. So three different methods you guys can pick whichever one you want to use. Me I like to drive fast. My wife unfortunately likes to drive fast and when I'm in the passenger seat I want to definitely have that seatbelt on as it was intended to protect and save my life. Had a fucking heart attack at the age of 28 so I can't get life insurance. I can't die. <laughs> Period. Alright now let's watch the entirety of this process. I'm gonna go all the way from the port, all the way to the rear of the vehicle. All right. All right. Contact front. This is at, this is the last 
resort course of action that I'm gonna do with my family or my, my team inside of a vehicle. Come up, drive straight out, breathe in, hold. And exit that vehicle. Once I get to the rear, now I can start stacking my pillars, work high, low on those pillars as they're aligned, increasing my survival getting to the rear of that vehicle. The fundamental here is to get as close to that glass as we possibly can. By giving those uh, downward, forward, down pressures, you're gonna increase your chance of giving one hole. Obviously you see there's two there. So if that was an initial first round, it's gonna go where from this point of aim? High. Right in the pitch, the angle was a lot more aggressive because I'm going closer um, to the actual uh, deepest part or the most forward part of that rig, so high. And then I, it circled back and then I put another port, which the round's gonna go with a new hole, high, and then it came back down. So again, like I said, you're going to lose your sight picture on the porting engagement. I want to make sure that I have that sight picture, create that sight alignment, but give it a home base and make sure I'm effectively porting out of one hole. Shit like this does happen. All right. Tango 4, Tango 4, 12 o'clock, straight ahead. Something we're gonna get into more tomorrow is obviously making you guys problem solve in and around each other, around that vehicle. So I'm coming up, I'm firing, I'm firing. He jams me up, I fire, I get a malfunction. Now whether I transition or not, it's completely dictated by you, the shooter. I'm just gonna isolate the uh, correction of this malfunction by refunctioning this weapon system and getting it up and then coming out into a new reference point, not the same predictable reference point that I left from. All right, so Jake, come over here. I'm gonna be shooting A3. I'm stacking my pillars, I'm shooting behind here, and I'm shooting A3. And now I find that clip, right? What I'm gonna do is I can come right here, I'm going to lock the bolt to rear. Locking bolt to rear, dropping this out. Notice everything falls out forward. Use gravity, insert mag, charge weapon. If that round didn't fall out, then I'll back up. All right, run it again. From here, I can lock bolts in rear, grab everything out, make sure everything's forward. If I have a round in there, send it in, insert that mag, push, pull. That way I can make sure it's seated. I come back out.
Come on, different spot! Come on, 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 come on,